Folks, it's Dr. Brian King here. I'm uh, at home visiting my parents. This is one of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, which one are you? I think I'm the mother. She's the mom, trying to be funny. You know, mom, you've seen that we, uh, we've been making these videos and a couple of the videos we made have been like telling our life story. Like I did two videos so far all about me. Yeah. You know, there was a video in, uh, that said I was from New York, mm -hmm. and then there was another video that talked about how I spent my first few years of childhood living in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this video is going to be all about the elementary years. Yeah. So, Brian and I are in Plattsburgh, New York currently, a place where he spent part of his childhood, a place that we go through often because it's en route to... Uh, uh, Montreal from New York. I'm actually standing here in Plattsburgh on an old Air Force Base. Plattsburgh Air Force Base. It doesn't exist anymore. It closed in 1995, uh, but I lived here for about three years. So I was a kid uh, when I lived here. I mean, I was six or seven years old at the most. Uh, I don't remember a whole lot, but what I do remember is snow. Uh, playing in it, walking through it, uh, doing all these snow-related activities, except for skating. I was never really good at that. What, what was I like uh, as a kid uh, during that time you of my were, life? Well, let's just say your teachers had direct phone lines to your dad. <laughs> like they would call home a lot? And they would call him at work. You never stopped talking. <laughs> you were a very good kid. You just liked to talk. Yeah. But at times when you're not supposed to talk. And we lived in, uh, in Plattsburgh, New York. Yeah. Uh, when, during part of my elementary years, right? Mm -hmm, right. Uh, upstate New York. Upstate New York. And then we moved to Germany. Yes, we did. Right. Rhine Main. And uh, was there was there any difference in uh, in my behavior as we as we moved from place to place? Well, not that much. I lived in Germany for four years, and uh, the the whole reason I was here is because my dad was stationed at uh, Rhine Main Air Force Base uh, here in Frankfurt. Now, this sign behind me is all that's left from Rhine Main. The base is closed uh, a long time ago and has the land has been reincorporated into the Frankfurt Airport. There's actually been three bases that I've lived on throughout my life that have been closed. Uh, this one in Frankfurt, the one in Plattsburgh, New York, and the one in Austin, Texas. And uh, all three no longer exist, which means that I have this weird inability to visit uh, places of my youth. Uh, so this sign is about as close as I can get here in Frankfurt. So for at least a couple of years while we were in Frankfurt, we lived in this suburban town called Langen in an apartment building called the Alpha House, which is right behind me. This building went up as a plan of multiple buildings uh, to go up. Those other buildings never went up. So surrounding this building was just a bunch of empty uh, construction sites. And I used to play in those and build forts and things. And uh, we come visiting here now, we can see that clearly there's some construction going on nearby. So there's no hope in finding my old forts. <laughs> Our uh, building a fort today with Alyssa. Is that fun? I totally remember riding on this when I was a kid. I think it's interesting about my elementary years is that we spent a few years in Plattsburgh, New York on an Air Force Base and then we went to uh, in Frankfurt, Germany on another Air Force Base and neither of those Air Force Bases are still around. Correct. Uh, they're gone. So they're gone and uh, what a lot of civilian people might not understand is that for military bases are more than just a place where people work. Yeah, it's a place where people live. It's a community. You know. Like dad mm -hmm. was at, was working, but for me growing up, that was like my neighborhood. Correct. You know? right. And uh, and there's two neighborhoods at least, or two communities that mm -hmm. are just you know just gone. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, and so yeah, so it's hard to go visit those places. 
Yeah, it is because there's nothing to visit, really. Yeah, it's gone. Nothing there. Yeah, so I, I appreciate you being uh, on this video with me, Mom. Oh, well, uh, I you, appreciate that. Thank you. As much yeah. as I don't like being filmed. I know. know I'm, uh, she, she didn't want to be on camera. I'll blur your face out later. Oh, good. There you go. Thank you. Folks, this has been another episode of Sarah and Brian. This one, all about Brian. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Good night. Mm-hmm.